I want to warn you, the story that I'm about to share with you is tough. The image you will see is graphic. The event, brutal. A young man, homeless and schizophrenic, beaten to death, kicked, tasered multiple times, hogtied face down, smashed against concrete, his head slammed with a flashlight. This is what happened to Kelly Thomas. At about 8.37 p.m. on July 5th, Ramos and Wolf responded to the Fullerton bus depot in separate vehicles. Ramos knew Kelly Thomas from prior contacts as a homeless person who hung out in the area. He did not believe that Kelly Thomas posed him any risk. It was obvious that Kelly Thomas had difficulty following Ramos's instructions. His instructions were to sit with his legs out, outstretched with his hands on his knees, it would be obvious to any reasonable observer that Kelly Thomas had cognitive issues and that he had difficulty following Ramos's instructions. Ramos made a deliberate showing of putting on latex gloves in front of Kelly Thomas. Ramos leaned over Kelly Thomas in this in this most menacing way. He made two fists with his gloves on two fists. He lifted his fists to Kelly Thomas in front of his face so that he could see them. And he said, now see my fists? They're getting ready to F you up. That declaration was the turning point. Ramos was telling Kelly Thomas at that moment that this encounter had changed to an impending beating by an angry police officer. Okay, fuck, dude. Okay. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's up with you guys? Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Okay. You witnessed this event, and can you tell us? Can you tell us what you saw? Well, when I came up here, I saw two cops on top of a homeless guy right here that I know. And um, they were pretty much beating him up, telling him to stop resisting. And then more police came and they started beating him with a flashlight, backup flashlight in the back of his head. And he wasn't moving around at all, but more came and they started teasering him. And it was just uh, a horrible sight. It was like a rampage. It was like a feeding frenzy. Like if you were to go watch some kind of National Geographic where the wildebeest gets too close to the water and the, and the alligator, it was just, it was terrible. It was, it, was, it was completely out of line, completely uncalled for, completely too much force. It was, um, what, 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 what was Okay, here, yeah, dude.
Alright, there's our bus. Does that. Like this, you can't resist. So I don't know why they just put, put cuffs on him and call it a night instead of hitting him. If we can. I can't stand. I can't stand. Damn. I can't stand. Okay. We need. What is that? Five cars for one guy? There's no you can. He's on something. Here, I got this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just not being honest? Is it them down at the DA's office? Or is it the men who beat him unconscious? Who killed Kelly Thomas? Residents and sympathizers waited over 10 months for the footage to be released, so when they had a chance to tell the city what they thought, they didn't hold back. These people are pissed, really pissed, especially after seeing that video. Those police officers were dangerous, and you knew it, you sick man. You watched that video and you kept those police officers on the street. I had to walk out of that courtroom. I had to walk out when the judge said, can anyone not control ourselves? I walked out. That's how bad it was. You know what? People say I'm rude. I'm not rude. I'm pissed. The outrage in the room reflected a palpable distress for city officials. We screamed for months to release that video. You looked at us all with contempt. You called us a mob. Any word you could describe to downplay what we were saying for months. Cicinelli will stand trial for involuntary manslaughter and excessive force, and Ramos for involuntary manslaughter and second-degree murder. But they may not be the only officers reprimanded. Ron Thomas, Kelly's father, pushed for the firing and arrest of another officer involved, Joseph Wolf, after review of the surveillance tape. He brutally murdered Kelly, and uh, the two huge elbows that he delivered after the baton strike, uh, you see the big pool of blood form, it crushed Kelly's face in. So this department could have, in fact, arrested him before that, but they haven't done that, he's still being paid.